Overnight, a second victim of that school shooting in Marysville, Washington, died of her wounds. Gia Soriano was 14. Zoe Galasso died Friday. They were shot by Jalen Freiberg, who then took his own life. Three other classmates remain in the hospital. Carter Evans is in Marysville, Washington tonight. There was a moment of silence at 1039 this morning, the exact time of Friday's deadly shooting. Could you have seen this coming? No, no, it was so out of the blue. Paige Eicher was close friends with the five victims and Jalen Freiberg, the 15-year-old gunman who was voted homecoming prince just a week before he opened fire in his school cafeteria. I don't understand why. I, I just don't understand what was going through his head that day. The 40 caliber Beretta Freiburg used in the shooting belonged to a family member. Eicher says he asked their entire circle of friends to meet him for lunch Friday. She didn't go. I honestly think he didn't want to go by himself. He wanted all his friends to go down with him. It's quite honestly like ripping the scab off my heart again. And the pain feels as fresh as it did back then. Nicole Hockley's six-year-old son Dylan was killed in the attack on Sandy Hook Elementary in 2012. Since then, there have been 37 school shootings nationwide. It's like going back in time when you see aerial footage of children running from a school. Hockley is in Washington state to promote a ballot initiative requiring firearm background checks, a trip planned before the Marysville attack. Gun rights advocates say the Marysville shooting is now being exploited ahead of the November election. It's just discouraging that it always just becomes such a fight because it shouldn't be about a fight. You're trying to protect our kids. Police still haven't released a motive for the shooting, and they say they may never know what provoked Freiburg's attack on his friends. And Scott, the school here will remain closed for the rest of the week. Carter Evans in Maryville. Carter, thank you very much.